Hello again, and welcome to Lean Management Training by Simply Learn. Before proceeding further, let us recall what we have learned in previous lessons. Lesson 1 gave us an introduction about lean. Lesson 2 was a study of types of waste. Lesson 3 discussed about various tools used in lean. Lesson 4 detailed about lean in manufacture, while Lesson 5 talked about lean in service. This is Lesson number 6, and we will talk in detail about lean in office. In the next slide, we will start with the agenda of what we are going to cover in this lesson, and then go into detail about lean in office. Here is the agenda. We will start with theory of constraints and explain how to identify and remove constraints from any process. Next, we will cover quick response manufacturing, where we will cover benefits of reducing internal and external lead times and then cover factory physics, which is a detailed framework for manufacturing management. And then we will cover Six Sigma methodology, which provides tools and techniques to reduce variation and improve quality. In the next slide, we will start with the theory of constraints, also known as TOC. In this section, we will cover theory of constraints. The theory of constraints was developed and popularized by manufacturing guru, Dr. Elia M. Goldratt in 1984. The theory of constraints has evolved over the past 20 years from a production scheduling technique to a systems methodology, which is primarily concerned with managing change. It encompasses a wide range of concepts, principles, solutions, tools, and approaches. The theory of constraints states that every system must have at least one constraint limiting its output. A constraint is a factor that limits the system from getting more of whatever it strives. Theory of constraints provides a reliable process that insists on follow-through and focuses improvement efforts where they will have the greatest immediate impact on the bottom line of the company. In other words, it is a thinking process that enables people to invent simple solutions to seemingly complex problems. Theory of constraints adopts the common idiom, a chain is no stronger than its weakest link. This means that processes, organizations, etc. are vulnerable 